Welcome back, guys, to Savvy Charmed Life. You're new here. I'm Tracy, and this is kind of our budget video <laughs> for July. <laughs> My niece and nephews were with us the first weekend in July, and so filming the first half of the budget video was just like not going to happen. So I did not film the first half of July revolving funds, um, cash stuffing for you guys. <laughs> but I am going to film the second half of the sinking funds for you guys. And for fun to add a little bit extra to this video, I wanted to, um, start some savings challenges because my just, just generic challenge envelope really isn't like working out so <laughs> good for me. So I wanted to try some other fun things. I got some things on Etsy that I'm waiting on, um, that I hope to be able to show you guys in the August videos. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and make my own like 100 envelope challenge. Um, so I'm just going to go super basic, super cheap. We're going to go to the Dollar Tree and we're going to look for some envelopes and a container to put them in. And I did, um, order like a printable, um, like envelope challenge uh bundle on etsy that i got like at a discount like it was on sale so i need to print that but right now we're gonna head to the dollar tree and we're gonna find some envelopes and a container to put them in and we'll put them together when we get back late july with the sun up high the cicada sing as the weeks drop by I read all day in a hammock sway down like molasses and melts away need to beat the sleepy sweet heat my friends call the So we are back from the bank and from the Dollar Tree. So I am actually going to put the envelopes to the side and we will go ahead and do our cash stuffing at the beginning. And then y'all who want to stay tuned for our cash um, envelope, envelope challenge, whatever it's called. <laughs> I will definitely put the tags below like the... Um, timestamps below so you can skip to that part if you like um but if you're further here for the cash then we will start with the cash i actually went to a new atm today um when i went to go get lunch for me and my husband and it didn't give me the option to choose so it gave me all 20s so we're not even going to be using my cool little like divider because i have nothing to divide all i have is 20s so let's double check and make sure we have the right amount of money so we have 20 40 60 80 100 we should have 710 dollars 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And 20. So yes, I said 710, but it is 720 because we had to get it all in 20s. So it wouldn't let me do increments of 10. So we are adding 720. All right, so hopefully we can exchange bills. So these are our sinking funds we did, just to show you, we did move our grocery budget back to 500 as we discussed um, in my last video. Um, and these are our sinking funds. So we will go through and add our money and find our totals for our sinking funds envelopes. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I have a very sick doggy who, he's feeling a lot better now, but he has an upset stomach. I'll just say that, not to crush all out. Um, and we had to take him to the vet and we used up all of our emergency fund and what was in the dog fund. But it literally was like a miracle. Like it came, like the exact amount of money I had left in the dog fund and the merchant fund was the exact amount I needed to pay for his vet visit and all of his medication. 
So he's on like special dog food right now, probiotics, um, special medication for his upset tummy. Um, and so all of that. And he knows that when I film, he gets special treats. But because he's been sick, I can't give him his special treats. So he's over here like begging for it because he's feeling better, but he doesn't know that he can't have them yet. And so he's very disappointed. All right, so gifts gets 20. So we are at 20, 40, 60 in gifts. Christmas is going to get 30 and I'm definitely going to have to exchange. So I'm going to give it a 40 and give myself 110 back. So maybe we will use this for exchange of bills. So we are giving it 40 and we took a 10 back. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Let me double check that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So we now have 90 in Christmas. And this is for Christmas presents. I do not have children, but I do have a niece and two nephews. And then I have, of course, my entire family that I need to buy gifts for. I have a brother and a sister and my parents are still with me, thankfully. Um, so Disney is going to get 100, so I need to count out. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And we did confirm we weren't going to do Disney. We were going to do Universal again because Disney is like so expensive. Um, and we always do a Christmas trip, but we decided to, instead of doing the week after Christmas, we are going to do the week before Christmas. And I'm just going to take an extra day off work. Um, because we got, being a Disney Plus member, you get like 35% off right now, which is huge for Disney, but we're going like super cheap. We have never done the value resorts at Disney before. We are doing value. We are doing all-star movies. So definitely be on the lookout for that video. Okay. So in the Disney fund, we now have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. So because of the way we booked it, um, doing a cheaper hotel and three days non-park hopper in Disney World, um, Disney is actually going to be cheaper than if we stayed at the Value Resort at Universal, which in three days in Universal, which is like usually not the case. Universal ends up being cheaper like every time. Okay, so Disney now has 500. So we're super excited that we get to do Disney again because we did Universal last Christmas and only one day at Disney. Like we stayed at Universal and mainly went to the Universal part, which I love Universal. You know, I'm a Harry Potter fan, so I kind of love Universal. But um, we only did one day at Disney. We went to Epcot. So I really wanted to do like more Disney this year. So I'm very, very excited that we get to go back to Disney. So vacation is getting 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in vacation. If I can get the envelope open. So vacation, we had to take money out of it because lots of trips. So we are back to 100 in vacation. All right, prescriptions. I think, did I make an envelope for it? Where's my, oh wait. I think I had to use it and then I didn't put it back where it normally goes. Here it is. Prescriptions going to get 20. And that was lit. If you were watched my last video and I got all confused and thought I had like a personal, because I had just written PRS. <laughs> um, 
but I figured it out. It wasn't personal, it was prescriptions, um, which I should have known. I would have spelled it wrong, right? All right, so 20, one, two, three, four. So we currently have 24 in our prescription envelope. All right, putting that to the side. All right, entertainment is going to get, wait, did I not add? I'm confused. Oh, no, it is getting 100, okay. I think I like, I copied this over from the June and I think I got myself confused. All right, entertainment's also getting 100, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in entertainment. And we found out the Studio Ghibli is playing in the theaters. So definitely excited about doing that. All right, so I think I'm going to exchange out some money. Oh, I do have 110. All right, we'll see where how, where this goes. All right, medical, we're getting 50. So I'm going to do two 20s and 110. So 20, 40, 50. And we did use all of our medical money. So medical now is back up to 50. Emergency is going to get 100. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 in emergency. And we still have $10 left in emergency, so we now have 110. Oops, wrong place. So entertainment is at 100 and emergency is at 110. All right, so now car maintenance is getting 50. Let's see if I have any 10s. Okay, good. So I'm gonna give myself 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, and then give my take 110 away. So we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 110 in car maintenance. Which doesn't make any sense, I just realized. I must have used some of car maintenance. Because what did we have? And car maintenance prior. I gave myself 60 and took away a 10. So we had 20, 40, 60. Yeah, so that makes sense. Okay. All right. I was just confused. All right. Car insurance is going to get 100. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, which means car insurance should now be up to 200. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. All right. All right, and then taxes is going to get 40. So that's 20, 40. Taxes now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 20. So we're at 120 in taxes. And then I have one $10 bill left, but I'm supposed to put 20 in homes. I think I might have like got myself confused again, but it's okay. All right, so this $10 bill is gonna go into my home envelope, and I'm not sure where it went wrong. I wrote down, let's see, 
Maybe I like miss something. We'll see. All right, so here, why does this happen in like every video where I end up with like the wrong amount of money and I'm like always confused? All right, so let's see. Entertainment is 100, check. Gifts is 20, check. Christmas is 30, check. Disney is 100, check. Vacation is 100, check. And I think it's because prescriptions was supposed to be the first half of the month. That was where I went wrong. Because I've been doing prescriptions over here. So, yeah. That was where I went wrong. So, I need to take that 20 out. Prescriptions as they were here. Let's see. So home gets 20, and then I had 10 extra dollars because of um it made me get it out in 20s and, and I couldn't do 10s. So I think everything else should be right. So yeah, emergency medical car maintenance, car insurance home yep and then taxes yeah okay so that looks right so this is going to go into my home envelope and for now I'm gonna put this 10 in our challenge envelope and I'll show you guys my update on where we're at oops our revolving funds. All right, so for challenge, we are at 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 28 in the challenge envelope right now. Okay, so now I will show you our update on revolving funds. All right, so in my wallet, in groceries, we are at for mid month 204060080 dropping things and in our envelope we have 100 200 300 so we have 380 dollars left halfway through the month the trader joe's thing y'all it's just blowing my mind okay so i think i'm going to take 100 and leave the other 200 in groceries and I like to kind of like hide the hundred I just don't want people to know how much cash I have in these little envelopes um we're not doing so great on eating out though in this envelope we have uh, and I, I we might go out again tonight um it's just been it's been kind of crazy three dollars and then the actual like cash envelopes, we have 40. So we have $43 left in eating out and that's only halfway through the month. So we kind of gone crazy with eating out. Toiletries, we have used some or all of the money. And paper, we used all, no we have I need to deposit this back because we did get Target um, paper, but we have 30 left here. And we have 20 left in toiletries, but I need to deposit these back into the bank. 
because we have spent that money. I've not spent any of my nail money yet. I'm waiting until like the end of next week. Um, I'm getting really close to needing them done, but I'm gonna wait till just before school starts back before getting my nails done again. I have spent my beauty budget because I went and got my hair cut. Dog, I told you, is depleted because um, he was sick and we had to take him to the vet. And I do have all of my chiropractor money left. So yeah, so we don't have anything in toiletries. Home. I will put our 20 in the home. And in miscellaneous, we have 20, 30, 45, $45 left in miscellaneous. So that's where we're at on our sinking funds. And we will come back in a second and we will work on, I'll show you what I've done so far with the whole envelope challenge thing. Okay, so this is the savings challenge that I got online. It is from Honey Do Hive, and it's usually only $7, but I got it 50% off. By the time you see this video, it will not be 70%, um, 50% off anymore. Um, but it has three in it. It has where you can save $5,050, $10,000 and $100, and $20,200, which just blows my mind. Um, but we're going to do this one first. So it looks like you're basically putting, I was going to say it goes up by twos, but it doesn't. It really is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 21, 30, 31, 40. So really it's just a hundred envelopes with, so what does it look like when you do the 10,000 one? Okay, so the 10,000 one is going up by twos. And then the 20,000 one is going up by fours. Hmm. All right, but we're just gonna start with this one. So I'm gonna do every envelope that has the amount between one and 100 on it. And I'm hoping that I have in here enough headers, not headers, uh, quarter boxes, I think, to stick on all of the envelopes. I've got so many. I think I probably do. I think I'm just going to take the whole thing out. What I ended up getting was just simple white because I realized to get pretty ones, I would have had to have gone to like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. Um, but instead, I just got three packs of 40 small white, and I'm pretty sure these will work. Let me double check. I opened one and make sure. I also got a couple of scratch off challenges as well as, let me just take one bill out of my tax one. Let's see. Yeah, so they're the right size for the bills to actually fit in these envelopes, full size without folding. So, we're just gonna go the non-pretty version to start with. And then I got this box, which I'm hoping they all, they can't go this way. Um, but they will all squish in this way. At least most of them will. I know this goes to 80. And of course, once the um, cash is in them, they will go a little bit deeper. So the gold take up more space. So let's count out 20 more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So see there's a lot of space there. So I'm hoping they fit like just fine. That's what my hope is. So I'm just gonna put these here and I will save them for later. These can be actual envelopes that I use to mail things. Which doesn't happen that often, but okay. So now what we're gonna do, 
and we'll probably speed through this part, but we are going to do one envelope at a time, stick these stickers on them, and write the numbers one through 100, and put them in here. Late July with the sun up high, the cicadas sing as the weeks drop by. I read all day in a hammock sway, time like molasses and melts away. Need to beat the sleepy sweet heat, my friends call it all like to me. So you see, and I need a grease, it's a dinner under the olive. All right, now I'm gonna try to like mix them up as I count to make sure I have them. So 199, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 88. Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Now they're, they're all kind of mixed up. We're gonna stack them. All right. And then we'll go in here. And what I'm going to do to start off with is to look at what we have in the challenge envelope and go ahead and fill. 
some of these envelopes. All right, so I'm basically gonna use that challenge envelope to store the cash. So we can go ahead and fill our number one envelope. You do do lemon squeezy. I think I'll put them like at the bottom. We're gonna seal them in hopes that means that we will not <laughs> unseal it. So, Alright, so we can do 13. So 10, 11, 12, 13. That dollar looks like it's seen better days. Did we already do 12? Okay. We have 11, so we could do three and 11. Let's do that. We'll do three and 11. of the 100 envelope challenge <laughs> all right guys thank you guys so much for watching and i still have like a ton of headers left like i had plenty so if you want to know something some way that you can use your leftover headers or your leftover like quarter boxes from kits i still have a million left um so it doesn't have to be fancy this is just using uh standard envelopes from the dollar tree so, you know, this whole thing I spent, I mean, it was like $1.25 for three, so that's like what, $3.75 plus, so this was like five bucks maybe for this whole thing, so pretty good. Um, but yeah, so if you love cash stuffing videos, if you love budget related videos, I'm doing these at least once a month. So definitely, um, subscribe so that you know when I post the next one, I usually post them mid to end of the month for the previous month. So the August video will be, uh, like mid to late August. This one obviously is getting posted at the end of July, um, for July. So um, usually I try to post it by the end of that month. Um, but yeah, so subscribe if you'd like to see more of my budget related videos and hit that like button if you liked this particular one. Okay guys, I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Late July with the sun up high, the cicadas sing as the weeks drop by. Read all day in a hammock sway, time like molasses and melts away.